Good afternoon. This is our summary day today. We're so excited uh, here in California, at least Northern California. Uh, we have our summer day today. And well, winter will be back. Ho hum tomorrow. Anyways, you can see up in the little left hand corner, we got the little ducky guy, duck, duck, go. Um, and I pulled up this article. What U.S. adults think about Facebook after Cambridge Analytica. Any of you even heard of that? Oh, I guess. Yes, you YouTubers have. I forgot. I'm not talking to Facebook. <laughs> okay. Um, see all these emoticons down here. They're there for a reason. Everything, all the day, I don't care what Mark Zuckerberg says. Actually, during the, um, this, the, during his testimony, uh, at the Senate committee, he said a lot, he, he said a lot, but he said nothing. Anybody who watched it can agree with me. A lot of words came out of that guy's mouth, but nothing was said. So, so we need to be a little careful with these emoticons, right? Because even if, you know, you undo it or you delete a comment, it's still in the database, regardless of Zuckerberg's promise that it does not. He said that, oh, once a comment gets deleted, it's no longer in the data bad, database, which is horse shit. We all know that. Okay. There is a rumor that Zuckerberg is the grandson to, da to David Rockefeller Jr. Look that one up. All right. Survey results from 1,153 random U.S. adults. Okay, over the past week and a half, there's been a lot of excellent media coverage, mainstream media coverage, all right, detailing how Cambridge Analytica was able to easily down download uh, the sensitive personal information of 50 million Facebook users after only getting questionable authorization from 270,000 people. We want to understand how much awareness there is, there has been of this incident and what behaviors and attitudes may have changed among those who are aware. To that end, we commissioned a survey of 1,153 random U.S. adults, not just DuckDuckGo users, who collectively and demographically are, I'm sorry, who collectively are demographically similar to the general population of U.S. adults. Surveys were taken on March 26 and 27, 2018. Here are those results. Awareness. Okay, this is what they found, right? We found that 85.34% give or take 2.04% of U.S. adults are aware of the Cambridge Analytica incident. Okay, now here's a graph. Um, please select the option below which best represents your level of awareness regarding the recent news about personal data from 50 million, and that's a low number, okay? That's a low number. You could probably times that by five making it 250 million, okay? <laughs> uh, Facebook users by um, being downloaded by Cambridge Analytica and used for political targeting back in uh, the 2016, 2016 elections. Back then, uh, wow, look at this. 
not at all aware. 9.28% slightly aware. How can you be slightly or somewhat aware? This doesn't make... You're either aware or you're not. Moderately aware? Somewhat aware? And slightly aware. <laughs> All those are interesting categories. It should be aware or not aware. I mean, what's the difference? Okay. Deleting those Facebook accounts. Among those who are aware and who currently have a Facebook account, 37.00%, give or take, 3.39% state that they're now more likely to delete their Facebook accounts. Really, only 37%? Oh. I guess people just don't care. Or are those the people that uh, are not at all aware? Wait a minute, what's the percentage? 37? Mm. I can't make it up there, okay. I didn't do very well in math as a school, as a child. <laughs> Alright, sorry. My... <laughs> My gift was spelling, not math. But you can read the graph. Alright, so please select the option below which best represents the level of influence this recent news about Facebook has had on your likelihood of deleting your Facebook account. Uh, wow. About the same. 54.42%. Um, much less likely. Less than 10%. Somewhat less than likely. Uh, just, just about 10%. Um, much more likely to delete. I don't get these numbers. I mean, <laughs> I know they tried. I like DuckDuckGo. But this doesn't make any sense. Much less likely. Somewhat less likely. About the same. Somewhat more likely. And much more likely. Uh, anyways, let's, let's skip that. Let's skip all this stuff that doesn't make sense to me because these categories right here. Please select the option below which best represents the level of influence this recent news about Facebook. Um has that on your likelihood of changing the way you share personal information. Now this one makes a little more sense. Right down here. A larger percent of people will share much less personal information. And 9.6% delete or dis, 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 disengage. Small percent will do nothing and they'll continue to share their personal information. Trust in Facebook. More than half. 56.00%, give or take. Uh, give or take 3.10% of those who are aware of the incident disagree with this statement. Uh, I trust Facebook to take appropriate action to protect its users' online privacy. That's why we have... Hold on. Shall I draw you a pretty picture while I'm waiting? <laughs> oh, okay. I'll stop. Oh, wait. I just don't want to cut away. There we go. Look at what we have here. Facebook. This is at the settings. Okay. 
email there. Data access allowed. Um, these are active apps and websites. I'm going to try and enlarge this, guys. Okay. No, no, no. All right. Just keep it right there. Look it over here. See that word? Look here. Okay, so data access allowed. These are active apps and websites. This means you recently logged into them with Facebook and they can request info you choose to share with them. Active apps and websites. I believe these are uh, well I guess these web these sites on Facebook are the ones so far I, I'm, I'm assuming is what it looks like um, we'll share your information okay well look what we have here hmm some of these don't surprise me. Show all. Well, I guess that's it. So what you can do. I already turned my game and app notifications. I turned it off. And, um... This under, under here, apps, websites, and games, this setting controls your ability to interact with apps, websites, and games, both on and off Facebook. I would turn it off. There we go. Those are turned off. Nope. Blank, blank page. Blank page. Now... Go to your settings and turn those off. Alright. Now. Here's one more thing I want you all to see. Slow to load. Sorry. That's right. Facial recognition apps. Time to make smaller. There we go. To recognize whether you're uh, in a photo or a video, our system compares it with your profile picture, facial recognition, which is in the database. All right. Remember, Facebook was started by the CIA. Okay. Um, and photos and videos that you're tagged in. Uh oh. Sorry, people. Uh, I mean, to my Facebook friends. <laughs> Sorry, um, I didn't mean to do that. Um, this lets us know when you're in other people's photos and videos so we can create better experiences. Well, not better for us, better for them. So anyways, What do you think about Facebook after Cambridge Analytica, and have you heard of it? Again, I keep thinking I'm talking to my friends on Facebook, and <laughs> if I can upload this directly to Facebook, I will. Um, I will post it there, though. So, uh, anyways. Point made, and yeah, I guess it's time that we delete Facebook. I know it's not easy. You know, it's the social aspect of the app that's appealing. And yes, it's addicting. But all, like all addictions. 
Oh, but wait, don't go. Don't go, don't go. Ah, oh, I got sidetracked. Okay. Now, I'm still back here on the same article. Okay. Down here. Okay, you guys can look at these graphs if you want. I, I don't, they don't make sense to me. Trust in Facebook. More than half. 56% plus or minus 3.10% of those who are aware of the incident disagree with the statement. I trust Facebook to take appropriate action to protect its users' online privacy. More than half disagree. <laughs> okay, let's see what they say here. Please leave me an option below which best describes your opinion on the statement. I trust Facebook to take appropriate action to protect its users' online pri privacy. Okay, so... Less than... 10% strongly agree. 8.7 agree, 14.94 somewhat agree, <laughs> uh, 16.46 neither agree nor disagree, and somewhat d disagree, 14.53, <laughs> strongly disagree, 23.78%. Uh, I don't trust those numbers because of, you know, again, agree, somewhat agree, somewhat disagree, disagree, strongly disagree. You either agree or you don't. Okay. Lastly, regulation of Facebook. 42.58% plus or minus 3.09% of respondents who are aware of the Cambridge data incident agree with the statement. I believe the government should play a greater role in regulating how Facebook handles user data. <laughs> Add to them the 21.44% plus or minus 2.56% who are neutral and a solid majority, 64.02%, give or take 3%, are not opposed to the regulation on Facebook. Alright, well, please leave your comments below on this. Alright everybody, now I'm done. Thanks for watching. And until next time, have a great day. It can be broken. Alright everybody, have a great day. I love you all.